Well, we're on the move again, and I'm in a brand new truck, the Velociraptor 6x6. Now, don't go commenting down below, oh, you got a new truck. No, no, no. This is my buddy Phil's. He's letting me borrow it because I just wanted to see how this thing drives, and it is absolutely a beast. It's obviously got six wheels on this thing, and it's got the Hennessy engine, so that's a thousand horsepower. Anyhow, off topic a little bit, but today we are actually starting a new side business. I like to call these side businesses because they're cash flow jobs. And what we're going to be doing is renting out Airbnb properties. So the objective here is we're going to be buying two mobile homes, but these aren't your ordinary mobile homes. We're going to be buying millionaire mobile homes and they're uh, massive, gigantic RVs. So we're going to put them right in these two parking spots, rent them out a thousand bucks a week. And yeah, we should make some good money on it. They're lakeside. We're in the beautiful city of Silver Run. And it's going to be a great tourist uh, point. I think we're going to be having a lot of people renting this thing out. And we got to buy some cars to go with it. And they're not your ordinary cars. So I'll show you in a minute. Let's head on over to Eddie's, which is our main supplier for all the vehicles you'd ever need. So yeah, I'll meet you guys at Eddie's. We'll be there in a few. You're probably wondering what the budget is on today's video, and it's kind of going up to $4 million because we've got to spend a lot of money on these things. Uh, yeah, take a look for yourself, but yeah, these are massive mobile homes, I like to call them, for millionaires. Let's see, we cannot tow it with this 6x6 Velociraptor. We're going to have to buy a semi to go along with these two. Here are the two cars that Eddie picked out for us. We've got a Lamborghini Urus. That's a Performante very, very cool one. I think it's a Mansory package. And then we've got a Porsche GT3 RS. So whoever's renting out these two massive mobile homes is going to have a fun fun week. So yeah, it should be good. What we're going to do, go sign some paperwork. we got to buy five different items. So it's a lot of stuff to sign. I'll see you guys once we're done signing. And we're going to take these things on back to the lakeside property. Alrighty, we did not get a sale. Eddie ripped us off. Yep, hey, Eddie, rip this off your front door, man. I didn't get a sale. All right, that's that's false advertising there. But yeah, we had to spend $4.4 million to buy all these. And you're probably wondering, nah, that's kind of too much money. But these are $1.6 million for each one. They're custom built. Let me give you a full tour while we're here. Let's see. You got to lower the steps, he says. There we go. They're electronic. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's probably 20 grand right there. Then we open the front door and let's give this thing a little bit of a tour. It's nothing like big, but it is massive for what I call a mobile home slash a gigantic RV. So, all right, we got a bedroom up here. This is huge. We got a light switch. Let's turn the lights on. It's all running off of its solar panels that are up top. $150,000 option. There's solar panels that powers the entire thing. You don't need a generator, nothing crazy like that. So it's kind of cool. Charges up during the day. We got windows that slide open. Let's actually close all these because we're going to be transporting this thing. And yeah, that's pretty sweet. That's where you sleep. We got a couch actually folds out. So if you want to bring guests, you got a fold out couch there. Turns into a bed. Let's see. We got the bathroom here. Oh yeah, this is a fancy bathroom. Let's turn the switch on. All right, there we go. We got lights there. We got the two sinks, running water. It's all running off of its portable water tank, uh, which is refillable. And then we got a toilet. Let's see. We can actually flush it, I think. Oh, just flushed it. Okay. And then that all goes into its own holding tank. We got a shower. So, yeah, there's actually 150 gallons that this thing can hold of water. So, it's pretty crazy. You don't need to fill up for a while. We got burning stovetops. I call them burners. Uh, we got, let's see, a nice little faucet for the kitchen. Ice cube maker. Oh, yeah. Who would ever have that in their mobile home? Come on. You won't. So, yeah, we got an ice cube maker in this bad boy. We got a custom garage so you gotta have somewhere to put the cars you know what i'm saying so let's say we got the lights on already and then open up the back door these should fold out look at that and we can load up the cars so we're not making four trips today oh yeah this thing is quick man all right let's back this thing up i'll probably take these for a test drive but it actually has a v8 engine in this thing so it's super fast for an suv let's go ahead and back it into the garage there we go. Very nice handling, I do have to say. Alrighty, we got the Lamborghini Urus loaded up in the back. We can go ahead and crawl. Let's see, where's the button at? Oh, it was just here. Let's see. Oh, there we go. All right, jump out. Oh, that was quick. All right, all good to go for transport. Let's close all the doors. All the windows are shut. One thing that you guys could do to help me out on this transport is to drop a thumbs up because, uh, yeah, we're going to need all the luck we can get with this transport. It's going to be tricky. I've uh, 
drove a semi once before, but that's about it. So we're going to go ahead and start up this Peterbilt 379 Absolute Beast. It's got a massive diesel in it. Twin turbos, you know, it's got all the options on it. Brand new, fully restored. It's got like, for the year, it's it's actually 20 years old and it's got only a thousand miles on it. I think it was kept in a warehouse. So, all right, we got to pull a massive U-turn because the trailer park location is located all the way back there. So, there we go. Crank it. All right, that was actually pretty good. All right, let's get this thing going. It's got a nice Jake brake on it, so it's pretty cool. Engine brake, too. Here, let me let off and you can kind of hear what it sounds like. So, yeah, very loud dra Jake brake. And, yeah, it'll wake up your neighbors for sure. All right, now this is the tricky part, boys. So I've never backed in a trailer this big before. This is about 75 feet long. So what the idea is here, so we're going to go ahead and pull a U-turn in this little field. Don't worry, we won't get stuck. We got a ton of wheels on this thing. So pull a U-turn and we got to... Oh! Uh-oh. Uh, the trailer just slid. Okay, I take back that previous statement. So let's line it up. Let's back this thing in. This is kind of tricky with the space we're working with. There we go. Brakes! Alrighty, now let's crank it in. Alright, I'm actually, I'm actually doing it. I never thought I could do this. Oh, watch it, watch it. Alright, we gotta pull forward, readjust here. Almost just took out that post. After we're all done, rate my backup skills on 1 to 10. Comment down below. Oh, we're actually doing pretty good. Look at this. I'd give myself a 10 already. There we go, we're straight. Okay, and then we're gonna have to readjust. I don't think anybody could, you know, make this that straight. So, okay, let's back it up again. I would give myself maybe a 9.5. If we're on an honest scale here, 9.5. There we go. Look at that. That's pretty good. All right, let's drop it down. We're going to grab the next one. Let's see if we can do better than this first attempt here. This thing is quick. We're moving at 60. Oh, there we go. Hit the brake. Oh, don't hit, don't hit Phil's truck. That was, that was closer than I wanted it to be. All right, let's back this thing up. Get the little Porsche loaded up. There we go. Let's get the garage door opened up. It looks good. Oh, this is a cool car, too. Let me give you a little cold start. This thing's been sitting here, Phil said, for about, I think, a week. So, There we go. This thing sounds great. All right, let's load it in the back. I think that the renters are going to enjoy this vehicle more than the Lambo. There we go. We're all good. Oh, we got to hit the gate button. Let's see right there. Perfect. We're all set. Let's get this semi moving, man. I'm going to leave Phil's truck here for now until we get everything set up. We got to do a couple more things and we will be done setting up our new investment property. And yeah, it's going to be a great one. It's going to earn us a ton of money. We'll be making 30,000 profit each year. So it should be good. Alrighty, we pulled in and we did not actually back this one in. We want to keep this straight because, you know, we have to have the door on the side of the driveway when they're pulling the car in. So how's this going to look? Uh, I'd say it looks pretty good. And then once they wake up in the morning, they got the window view of the little lake here. You can actually take kayaks, paddle boards, boats, kind of whatever you want. There's 10 foot of, of depth down there. So you can go fishing in a boat. Got the Porsche there. And yeah, we got a couple of things to unload here. And then we will be done. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more of us building these investment properties and building our portfolio of real estate, then hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know down below if you want to see more. Thanks guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.